What's up everybody? Josh here with Nippon Imports and today we are going to be looking at a very special car, a 1974 Nissan Cherry X1R. So this was an import for a US JDM collector. Uh, I have to say that when the gentleman first reached out to me uh, requesting us to locate this car um, I was uh, beyond excited to say the least um, these are extremely rare cars even in Japan so to have this here is uh, very special um, <clears throat> and if I'm not mistaken I believe this vehicle was also spotted uh, by Mr. Daniel Crady uh, of Wasabi Cars in Japan and at the time he spotted it I believe it had uh, gold and metal polished wheels at the time and I think they've been uh, re or powder coated black uh, the reason why I say that was this is one of the few ones that I've seen with um, white fender flares most of them are black and also some of the uh, stickers that were on the car in the video were also on this vehicle as well. So, anyways, uh, very wonderful find here. Uh, we brought it here. There was only a, a handful of things that we had to do to just kind of bring it up to bring it up to par. Some things that had to be removed, uh, some interior that needed to be uh, fixed up. But so the Nissan Cherry uh, is not rare in itself, but the X1R is. Uh, this was a, a homologation uh, model. This was actually used um, uh, back in 73, 74 and raced on uh, did pretty well at Fuji Motor Speedway from what we could find out uh, as far as production is concerned it's widely unknown uh, but the owner which which he was pretty cool uh, suggested that probably less than 2,000 of these were produced and only I believe less than 70 were actually registered in Japan. And from what I've seen, just trying to search around videos, anything that we can scrap up, uh, I would be safe to assume that number is probably less. Really nice wood grain on the steering wheel. Uh, the seats were just immaculate. But let's get into under the engine bay here. And as you can see, this is a 1.2 liter inline four. Uh, the X1R, I believe, is about 130 horsepower. Someone might have to correct me on that in the comments. I'm going off the top of my head, but I could have sworn it was 130. You got your twin uh, Hitachi uh, carburetors here. And as you can see, the engine bay is just immaculate. Everything is just really well put together. There you can see. Let's see if I can get the focus in on this. KPE 10. love the oil cap so uh, uh, she drives absolutely wonderful uh, this actually the cherry another another uh, fun fact is the cherry was the first front wheel drive Nissan so kind of rare you, you look at a car like this and you would swear and bet money it's rear-wheel drive uh, 
but it's not. It's front wheel drive. And it goes. It's not fast, but it gets. And it puts a smile on your face. I've seen some cherries without the spoiler as well, but this one has it. Love the taillights. Those are my favorite, favorite uh, taillights. You see them on the, the, the uh, Kimari skylines. So this is kind of like the uh, little uh, friend of the family here. Uh, the X1R was the only that, uh, model that came with the fender flares as well. Those are factory fender flares. So before somebody in the comments starts yelling, why'd they screw on the fender flares? Uh, I really don't have much to say. I mean, there's really just not a lot of information on the vehicle at all. Um, the owner, uh, he wanted some, he, he sold it because he wanted something new and he said that quite honestly, uh, he was getting up in age and he, the, the vehicle was somewhat difficult to drive because it has this massive blind spot right here. And at first when I heard the excuse of why he was selling it, I thought it was kind of ridiculous until I got in and drove it myself and it is a nasty uh, blind spot for sure. Um, backing up and changing lanes is certainly challenging. I believe the suspension is aftermarket. A lot of the cherries that I've seen online, they sit a little bit higher. And the owner definitely did a really good job of uh, the fitment there. The wheels are flush with the flares. So it looks really good. It's got a really nice stance to it. All right, so let's look inside. Door cards are in really great shape. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus there. No rust whatsoever. Check out that RPM gauge there. And she will get up to the six, 7,000 RPMs with no problems at all. Four speed. There's your air conditioning. <laughs> Old school air conditioning. They took all the speakers out too, was, but you don't need a radio in this car. Uh, seats are really awesome. Vehicle came in. Uh, there was some separation here on this uh, seam, and there was some separation over there on this one, the inside, and then also the... Uh, passenger side so we got that sewn up uh, there was a small teeny tiny tear down at the bottom there we had that repaired so overall just fantastic condition um, there was a, a small crack here and a small crack here and we had that repaired as well. Uh, we didn't want to do too much as we did want to leave as much stock as possible. I'm sure that most people 
they would want to switch this out, but I kind of, I like it. I like the wear of it. There's your cup holders or cup placers. Kind of a weird spot for a ashtray. Gonna see you smoking. Let me see how that's how that works out. You driving? Just grab your cigarette in between shifts. Get a nice hit. Okay. All right. So just some detail about the seats. Um, you know, smooth leather here, and it also has like this really nice design that just goes out throughout the uh, the middle here. And then it also let me. Uh, and I like how it continues through the back here. A nice and a narrow strip so I like how they did that it looks really cool uh, headliner looks brand new I think that might have been replaced so as you can see here's the so you look back to turn around you don't see nothing but C pillar and like I said it's a nasty blind spot there's the back seat And these uh, these mirror, these uh, windows here, they pop out as well. Uh, this seat also falls down flat. Funny story, it had a, looks like the I believe the previous owner was a golfer because there was a couple of golf balls rolling up under these the seats. So as I was driving it, and every time I take a turn. I'd hear this nasty clank from side to side and I'm freaking out thinking something's wrong with the with the suspension or something. So I get out and look around and uh, finally, I, I mean I just gave up. I, did, I couldn't find the source of the noise and uh, finally I was look, cleaning the car and I noticed the golf balls in there and I was like, yep, there it is. That's the, that's the source of the noise right there. So that rear hatch opens up like so and here's your toolkit and this beautiful spare well with no rust so like I said that uh, rear seat falls flat so you got yourself a perfect car for uh, for golfing, so there you go. You get a little better, better of a better view of how that pattern is. I hope it picks up on camera because it is pretty cool. Uh, two speaker replacements here, but they were removed. Here's your Cherry X1R. Passenger seat. Very solid car. Just overall super cool in every way. So let me close up this rear hatch and I'll do one final walk around. So there she is, um, 1974 Nissan Cherry X1R, uh, fully legal, titled, all the jazz. And uh, if anybody is in California and you plan on going to Pebble Beach, um, this will be there as well. So uh, if you're able to, swing by, check it out. But we're really happy that we're able to uh, bring this into the United States and uh, we believe it is the only one 
in the United States to the best of our knowledge. So I'm really happy about this. This is definitely the type of vehicles that I wanted to import for our company. And I'm hoping that uh, we do receive more requests for these type of vehicles as this is really my passion. So if you have any questions, please just ask. If I missed any other important tidbits of information, uh, you know, feel free to ask or uh, also comment in the comment section. So thank you very much for watching and uh, have a great day.